Brussels. That's the American flag, Michael. It means you're going to America. Donald Trump, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by me and my small company, Proto Bakery. If you would like a protein donut with a cake texture, two grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein to support this channel, the link is below. We were stocked today at 10 a.m. PST. Also, following the Instagram page is a super free way in supporting this channel as well. Thank you so much for all the support. Let's get into this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle McDaniel. I am a personal trainer. Yes, I detach the sleeve so that my muscles can move. A proud mother of a pug and a past theater nerd gone grown up cosplayer and this is my channel my thoughts will probably offend you where i share my thoughts that will probably offend at least one person i've been having life-changing results since i learned how to get offended so if anything's offending you today make sure to let us know in that comment section and while you're down there you might as well just hit that subscribe button so that you can tell us what you're offended about on a regular basis i'm offended that you would think you have the right to post that to your facebook account don't you want to be part of the most offensive dramatic pug filled family on the internet of course you do. So today we are talking about one of my favorite trash television shows, 90 Day Fiance, where hopeless romantics meet random people online for about five seconds in a different country and then decide it would be a great idea to get married. And yes, my little watcher, it is a roller coaster ride of trash that is really fun to watch. We love trash on this channel. So if you tuned into my last video, then you know that it was also a 90 Day Fiance video about the very in love, awkward B couple that couldn't speak each other's language and had to communicate over Google Translator. Do you think I'm sexy working with the bees? Do. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a very magical and romantic love story, as you can imagine, but I thought that since my voice sounds like I've been smoking since I was Two, from being sick last week, I thought it was only fitting to talk about someone that has a very similar voice but on a whole nother level as I do right now. You ain't gonna humiliate me, you son of a <laughs> Is Angela coming back? <laughs> Yes, that's right, 90 Day Fiance fanatics we're talking about. Angela, a 53-year-old grandmother. Excuse me, Mima. Because I do pay taxes and I pay a lot as a single freaking Mima. From Hazelhurst, Georgia, where her mom and six grandkids live under one roof in a trailer park. This is serious. One Mima, one Mima's mom, six grandkids. This is serious. All under one roof. That's like a big old nightmare for people like me who need their personal ass space all the time. Now, Angela loves her some dark, sweet chocolate. And she's trying to import it straight from Africa, specifically Nigeria. And that sweet dark chocolate from Nigeria's name is Michael, a 31 year old man from Lagos, Nigeria. Angela and Michael, who are now engaged, met on Facebook. The love story started with just a simple message from Michael, and Angela fell in love. I get so many email offers, love notes from Nigerian kings or princes. interesting to me that she responded because I thought it was a very the whole Nigerian scammer targeting clueless Americans. I am probably offending someone. But look at the name of this channel and I'm just speaking from experience. Are you really an American? If you never got the email from a Nigerian king trying to give you all of his money, all he needs is your social, a picture of your driver's license and your bank info. I've gotten so many of those through my email and my Facebook and I've probably gotten more marriage proposals. So the fact that a very young Nigerian man contacted Angela over Facebook and she is under the impression that he loves her is interesting. Anyway, okay, so there's a lot of things that we can react to when we're talking about Angela and Michael. A lot of things happened in the show, but my voice is still healing and I really don't wanna sound like a smoker forever. So I chose three things that we can talk about when it comes to Michael and Angela. Let's start. So Angela is in Nigeria visiting Michael and they plan on having a ceremony in Nigeria. So they are wedding dress shopping, Nigerian style. Baby, come on. 
I want to find it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. You can, Very you can, pretty. Yeah. No, this one is on my feet, you know. See, wow. Oh. Michael is super excited. This is very beautiful to him. It's part of his culture. Angela, on the other hand, uh, with her facial expressions, I highly doubt she's into wearing it on her body. It's pretty fabric. Yeah. Can we just look at the material and don't bring out the dresses and all? Okay. Can we just start with that, Michael? All right. What do you think? What do you think about it? Huh? They're very beautiful, Michael. I just, I'm, I'm big. All right, okay. Okay, see right there, she's very insecure to wear these. I'm guessing from a personal trainer and past a person that just hated shopping, she's probably very insecure to just shop. It's not the most fun thing when you're insecure about everything on your body. I have cried many a times in dressing rooms and it seems like she doesn't want them to bring out like her size and drape this big piece of fabric, you know, and hold it up. Cause she keeps mentioning, you know, like don't bring it out and hold it to me like she doesn't want that realization of oh crap that's how big i am that's how much fabric it takes and when you think about it too like what's more like mind her most likely at least this is what would i go what, what would go through my head when i would pick up certain pieces that would fit me is that fabric's gonna be big but it's gonna be even bigger with this fabric because it's supposed to be very loose on your body so whatever size you are it's gonna be a lot bigger which means angela's going to be a lot more upset when she sees how much fabric it takes to uh cover her body in this type of outfit. You ain't gonna humiliate me, you son of a bitch. In Nigeria, uh, couples, we put on a, a matchmaking uh, outfit, you know? Like I'm a, not Nigerian, Michael. So this part kind of irritated me. I see this with a lot of couples when it comes to 90 Day Fiance. They want this exotic person from a different country who has different clothing style, different food, different beliefs, different things that they do on a daily basis. It's a whole different culture and the person doesn't want to be part of that. Or they don't want to be open-minded when it comes to their future wife or husband's culture. If you're going to marry someone from a whole different country, you're most likely going to have to accept some of the cultural differences. My friend is a dark-skinned, beautiful Nigerian woman and she married a white, whitey white, white, white man and they had a traditional huge Nigerian wedding and he wore the outfit, he even learned the dance. It was so cute and I'm sure some people are like, why is a black woman marrying a white guy? Why is a white guy wearing a traditional Nigerian whatever? And to those people, I give you this space. I thought it was a very beautiful thing to see two very different people coming together and one of the significant others enjoying this traditional ceremony. Baby, are you, on, are you denying me now? No, 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 no I'm no. just saying I'm American and you knew that when I come here, right? Didn't you know he was Nigerian when he told you he was Nigerian when he messaged you over Facebook? Explain her that it's not her material but I'm self-conscious about my wage. She <laughs> believe She's like, I understand. I understand English. I understand Nigerian. I also understand that this relationship is weird. And I also understand that in a few seconds, shit's gonna hit the fan. You sad, sad man that is clearly just trying to get to America. But continue, sir. Okay, you don't don't bring out the dress. Just you can maybe bring it out, but don't wag it. Don't like... wag it. You know, it looks embarrassing okay. to her because she's fat. She's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm a little confused though because she said that she was big. Just, I'm, I'm big. So she clearly knows that she's fat. So maybe she didn't know that Michael thought she was fat. Oh, I'm fat, Michael. Really? What the? I just. Maybe it was that word that the body positive movement keeps saying is a liberating word, fat. But uh, he pretty much said exactly what she's been saying about herself and he told, you know, the person not to bring out the clothes, exactly what Angela uh, wanted him to tell her. Explain her that it's not her material but I'm self-conscious about my weight. And, and he did that and so he gets the slappy slap. Not I'd be very upset if someone slappy slapped me. Not I thought this part was so interesting because it's the whole I can call myself fat but no one else can. I mean I get it because when I was bigger I would always call myself fat but then I would hear someone else call me fat and it would be like <laughs> oh. 
not even straight to my heart, straight to my broken soul. But Angela also needs to understand so many countries are say it like it is. You are fat, you are thin, you are muscular. So was Angela wrong for slapping Michael? Yes, in my opinion. Was it rude for Michael to say Angela was fat? Tell me in the comment section. So in this part, Angela and Michael has not seen each other in a year and she is finally traveling back to Nigeria to see the love of her life and she comes bearing a lot of gifts, AKA a lot of things for sex. I'm gonna handcuff you to the shower. Oh my God. <laughs> Come here, let me just show you. Last time Angela visited, I was shocked with her sex. It was intense. But now, I mean, I'm used to her. See, we do it like this. Are you kidding me? Now take off your pants. Take your pants off. Oh man, imagine being handcuffed by Angela and her dangling a key in front of your face saying, Take your pants off. No, imagine it right now. Uh, let's all do it together. Take your pants off. Take your pants off. Oh, Michael, you're such a weenie. But isn't it cute? Was it everything you imagined it would be? Look at this, Michael. Come here. What? You like them? You're gonna wear them for me? I'll put it on. Go. Sexy baby. Woo woo. <laughs> Ugh. You like them? You gonna wear them for me? I mean, I'm not political. I don't care if you hate Trump or you love Trump. But anyone that wants to walk around with this guy's face on their crotch, and whoever wants to look at this crotch with this guy's face on it is... A true American. God bless. Oh, sexy baby. Yes! Get that citizenship. This is how it's done. It's body paint. Let me just straighten it lay back. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Seriously? All right, that's enough of that because that's how all of our faces are probably looking. But a lot of people had an issue with Angela putting a black man in Trump gear. She even gave him the hat. <laughs> The whole shebang. And people were really mad that a white woman from a trailer park gave a black man Trump undies and the Make America Great Again hat. I thought it was hilarious because TLC knows damn well exactly what they were doing by putting these scenes in the show. TLC people, the ultimate troll. They know exactly what will make people talk and what will make people angry so that more people will talk about the show. And now my questions for you that I'm expecting you to write in the comment section. If your significant other got you some type of Trump underwear panties with uh, Trump's face right, right on the crotch, right there. Or I'll even throw this one in here. Ladies, your man got you a bra with like Trump's face right there. Would you do a little dance? <laughs> and go with it? And does a black person or anyone of color wearing Trump merchandise trigger you in any way? And why? So this is my absolute favorite part when it came to Angela. Michael has to have a baby. It's part of his culture. It's in his destiny to have a woman sprout out little Michaels into the earth so the pressure is on Angela. Take your pants off. The only issue, only one, is that Angela is 55 and hasn't had a period in seven months. So what do you do when you're older and you can't have a baby? That's right. You ask your younger daughter for her egg. I have a big question to ask. But it's very uncomfortable because it's very personal. So I'm leaving for Nigeria next week. I'm excited because I'm missing. Don't you want to be around the man you love? You sure you love him? The accent. You sure you love him? The question that's about to come from Angela's mouth. The music. Oh, man. It's just fitting. I told you. TLC, the ultimate troll. Look, this is a girl he swallowed. Look at this girl's profile pitch. <laughs> Is that funny to you? as a half-naked woman. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, just a small minor thing. Michael cheated on Angela. Michael, you just pissed me off. Did you really say that? Did you really say that, Michael? How can I explain this in a very uh, PG way um, a woman took Michael's cucumber and put it in her mouth at a club. 
And he constantly follows and messages women on social media. You know, the same thing that he did to Angela. If he wants to look at someone's fat back, he can look at mine. Wait a minute. Didn't she say earlier? I'm not fat. If he wants to look at someone's fat back, he can look at mine. Ugh. The mixed signals. Is this why guys are always calling women confusing? Because of Angela? You have trust issues with him yourself. So what makes you think I'm going to trust him? Just wanting to know if you're going to be prepared if I'm over there and we're coming back to have a wedding. Small part, not even significant to, to any of this. It's not important. Something else, too. You're not praying yet? As Angela's daughter smiled at the thought of her 55-year-old mother being pregnant, what a funny thing that would be. It would never happen. It's funny you said that, pregnant. And then the look of disgust. Michael wants a baby. I'm not. You know what? Don't ask me to have y'all a baby. I can tote it, I just need your egg. Putting that on a shirt. I can tote it, I just need your egg. Iconic. So when I was watching this, I completely thought the daughter was gonna say yes. She was thinking about it for a lot longer than anyone I know would think about it. I can tell it. I just need your egg. But eventually, she did say no. Oh no, you are not taking one of my eggs and combining with one of his. <laughs> Little sperms. But that is not stopping Angela. She finally has a very young Nigerian man and she has to do this so that she can keep him. So what does she do? She goes to a fertility doctor in Nigeria to see if she can tote her own baby. I have your rights over here. But I have no head. Okay, so the right one is out, but we still got one more. So let's look out for the left ovary. So this is the ovary. And I could see just one egg. Yeah, it's the egg. Just one. <gasps> we got an egg. I was gonna say, I'm just, I'm just one. Did you hear that, Yoshi? She's got one egg left and she's on the road to baby town. Woo! So the main thing you and Michael now need to talk about is the eggs. Oh, well, we got one. Yeah, but. You have one, yes, one is still present, but we may not be able to make use of that one. Oh. That I have one egg that I can't use because it's probably not alive. It's disappointing. Happy moment and then reality hits, you know? I want this baby to come from my bloodline, so I need to ask my daughter one more time, would she give me her eggs? Well, she said no, again. So what other option does Michael and Angela have? The baby has to come from Michael's bloodline. Adoption is out, so what else could they do? Yes. You got it. Michael wants to impregnate another woman. That's not Angela. That's probably significantly younger. Probably thinner. Ah! How do you think that went over? Exactly like this. How dare you! And this. And then this. And more of this. You listen to me, you son of a... I've got one thing in this lifetime, one thing. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, she can tote it. She just needs your egg. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It helps this channel out a lot. And if you don't want to do it for me, do it for the Yoshi. Because when you hit that subscribe button, that brings us closer to 300,000 subscribers. Once we get to that milestone, Yoshi won't have to wear her cone as much. Don't you want to help a small 14 pound pug wear her cone less? Even though she has allergies and she'll literally rip her face off if she doesn't wear it and take her medication. Anyway, Yoshi says uh, help her out and hit that subscribe button. It's literally right below our faces, right, right down there. So do it. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and Yoshi on her Instagram, of course, what kind of mother would I be if I didn't give my dog, who doesn't know what Instagram is, an Instagram? Everything is linked below for your convenience, and we will see you guys next time. Oh, look at that. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. And you hit the subscribe button. And look at that. It's working because Yoshi's wearing her cone.
a lot less. And it has been replaced with the party hat, which means ding, 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 you get 50 million Michelle bucks to spend as you wish in Michelle world. Buy Yoshi some treats so that you can hand feed her. 25 million will get you into my wig closet. So spend them wisely and while you're spending, make sure to watch some of the past videos if you haven't seen them already. And thank you so much for getting to the end of the video and all of the support. Thank you guys so much. And Yoshi is getting really irritated that she's wearing a hat. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave now. Okay. Bye. <laughs>